the way, y'all niggas be riding that nigga dick so hard. I have his number. If I have to say anything, I text Joe. Yeah. And I'd be like, yeah, nigga. Does he text, I, 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 does, does he text like, back? And does. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, by the way, I am <laughs> the oh, for it. Oh, no. Nah, That's a good question. He, he's been kept in the loop. Okay. Through. Okay. Through. All right. Yeah. through Oh, I listen. Yeah, you was also a listener of the JBP before you joined the network. I still listen, right? and that's why yeah. I know I don't so hate him. Was, like, it a, was it a culture shock to you being on the network and seeing how his uh, audience perceived your show with uh, Bridget? No, it wasn't. I mean, let's be very clear. Bridget, no. as a selection next to me, I knew I wanted to do a female version, quote unquote, of the JBP. Mm-hmm. I I felt like women have opinions on pop culture and things, and I think there was so many points missed. Mm-hmm. On on Joe's pod often that shade you know uh, well that's no j- just because no, from a, just from a no, different perspective hate. just from a different perspective okay and um so wanted to create that and let's be very clear Bridget was probably the only female voice that had sat in on that studio and the audience loved her they did yeah they were the familiar audience with was yeah, familiar yeah, with her right the audience liked her a lot. She and I, I will say though I think that that's the difference too. I got Bridget in a relationship. Bridget when she came on the JBP was was leaning into Transition. her cheating ways Transition. or was single, yeah, yeah. and that's who I fell in love with too when she came on Horrible Decisions. And yeah. so we both Which had entered it? a transition with the pandemic. I was in a relationship when I met her. We were both just navigating life at the mm-hmm. same time. Right. But to me, she was she was a clear shining number one pick for me for that pod. Yeah, like, yeah, I thought yeah, yeah. she was great within the, the audience. But yeah, no, like, I still listen to the JBP. Um, I still think Six Mics is nuts, but, you know, I'm Why? glad y'all like they it. They making it work? They you are, like it too? They making it listen work. every week. They making it work. They making it work. Glad y'all like it. Well, I mean, you listen I, every week. I like oh, majority of the niggas on there. I would never pay for that. Uh, but I like, wait, first what? off, there's already six hours of free content. I don't have, I can barely get through, mm-hmm. like, the main the well, you have a lot I have other pods I listen on. to. I yeah. have a lot of but other But as things a creator, I'm sure you could understand like the allure to somebody who is a super fan of no, no, having no. a Patreon. Yeah, he's like, feeding them. Yeah, no, he's course. feeding I mean, the streets crazy. I mean, I was telling Ian and Joe and Rory, Ma- who else? I think everybody, me and Weezy, we've been on Patreon since 2017. Mm-hmm. Right. Ooh. So... Yeah, yeah, I've been telling you know, people that this like was the move this, yeah. way before they got there. Mm-hmm. Like I was like for a lot of things, especially because horrible decisions isn't very brand safe. Mm-hmm. Patreon and touring is where we make our money, yeah. and now we have our deal with Black Effect. Shout out to Black Effect, mm-hmm. the only network really standing anymore. So Charlemagne definitely did something right because a lot of these other networks folded, and so to me, I've always been. An advocate of Patreon. Mm-hmm. I think it's the way that your audience, mm-hmm. your day ones, support you and what this takes. But what's wrong with six mics though? Especially for people who might feel fatigued, or I'm not saying them, right? You got six mics. You can really do some variations. Yeah, and that's why, shit. yeah, and that's why there's a solid two that barely talk. So that's not I true. Mean, they all talk. Okay. They all talk. I, I, they all he, talk. He, he what? Stop the shit. What? Because it's you. <laughs> nigga, you they, keep they throwing the alley to this nigga. Like, you don't know her. I know you her. You're throwing the love you know, by the way. You, you know what she's about to do. I know what I do. He's like, he's like, what like do? tell me more. Because y'all know me. Y'all gotta be trying to understand what I do, shit. What I do? Dump the ball. Because he keep throwing the pass. <laughs> yeah. love. I'm trying to understand. What's wrong? What's wrong with best said, Rudy go band impression? Haven't you been on songs with multiple mics? No, he's literally like, what's wrong with six mics, Maddie? I'm <laughs> now, I, I told you. Yeah. Any given episode, you yeah. to be kind of on the quiet side. Yeah, but all right, real quick, because I do want to pivot to Charlemagne, because you did mention Black yeah. Effect. I do want to pivot there, but I want to do quick hits on the JBP. You are a fan. You do have a relationship documented with, with Ish, with, with Flip. With Ish, with Flip. Yeah, Flip mad because I ain't been in his studio yet, and I was supposed to go. Shout out to Flip. Shout out to I, Flip. I, I'm a fan of Flip. I, I, I love what Flip. he's doing with Flip the Network. I, always, I love all that show shit. Love, the Flip. love Ice. Um, I mean, I love everybody. Yeah. Uh, Parks, I think anytime I see him out, I don't know Mel personally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so there's no relationship there. Mm-hmm. Um, but everyone else on there, from yeah. From a content standpoint, mm-hmm. not even just person. I, I know you know everybody. Per- I'm talking yeah. about as a fan, from a content standpoint, how you feel about this current iteration of the JBP, and then I want to go to Charlamagne. Um, it's a lot of mics. A lot of mics. It, it, I, I mean, that's why I be asking specific, nigga. I mean, okay, okay. It's a lot of so, mics. So, so this iteration, I, I will say I like, of course, the OG squad together much more. Um, but this is, 
I mean, I listen to it. Okay. So, right. I mean, I'll take that. You know, I'll I mean, I, 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 she's not going to give you anything else. I, no, that's fine. I mean, I mean, I do think that, um, I, I, I appreciated it more when it was mature. I like the, I like getting into deep conversation a little mm. bit more than people probably think. And so when things just become too funny or I, I also, as a podcaster know when things are being said for entertainment likes clicks yeah, entertainment yeah, yeah. and so i feel like you know me you and me you and joe did a live stream um on youtube <laughs> on youtube on YouTube. at his crib in uh -huh. <laughs> that shit was kind of fun yeah that, it was, was great and this was is when they fun. when he was testing that and, and that's the thing too like see the thing is the inception of that took about a year and a half like yeah. i was at joe's house probably yeah. weekly at one point or yeah. at least every other week right in yeah. the pool, like meeting his talking team, sh talking shit and just vibing with him. I think Ian's incredible. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I can say it. What's up? Joe is great. Yeah. Nigga, Ian's the brain over there. It ain't Joe. It's both for the nah, brain. No, nigga, it's bro. fucking Ian. But y'all, no, you don't nah, believe that. You don't believe I, that. I, I don't I, care I, if we got to mark this. That, that's fine. Ian got to listen to Joe first. Oh, I'll tell you now. We were told not to talk to Joe. That's that's what you do when you have no, management. No, no, no. It, it goes Ian, back. It goes back Ian, to that word, the P word, partnerships. There's partnerships. They have roles and they got they they. Listen, Ian does his job listen, extremely well. Oh, he's high functioning, very efficient. Very that's and a, then that's Joe, a badass. It's like Joe's like a mastermind. And then Joe no? is the that's, ultimate. That's talent. a badass. Listen, he figuring it out over there. Sure is. There's no way you think Joe doesn't tell Ian. Something collaborate. You know, yeah, there's no way you think that. There's no way you think that Ian is just running the whole brain uh, functions and Joe's yeah, like, I bet. No way you think that. Okay. Really? Look at him. <laughs> Yo, he, man, look, 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 Reggie, he threw another laugh. <laughs> He's like, He's like, really? No, 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 no. There's no way you think that. <laughs> Mike, Mike, yeah, Mike, 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 I mean, I mean, Mike, speak I, up. I'm not going to lie. Let's be very clear. I think that it's, that it's needed. Joe yeah, has found sure. someone that can excel his, his, business behind the scenes mm -hmm. and just having that relationship inside and, and knowing like Ian's mind works differently. It does. It, it, does. it really works it differently. And he, he tries to be ahead of the curve on so many things. And yeah. I mean, hearing even on the pod, the conversations to where they went from, I mean, even before ish, the real estate, the NFTs, the streaming, the, mm -hmm. the page, like where to go with all that. Like me and Ian would sit for hours at Kaufman and literally talk about the subscription model. Mm -hmm. And when we were doing that and even me, him and Joe dissected how OnlyFans was genius because of the subscription model, mm -hmm. like Netflix and all these things, like the, the conversations I've had with him and how his mind works. Like I, I get it. Sure. He, he might have to listen to Joe, but. That, that man doing his, nah, his thing. Very and, and he's yeah. our age. Ian, Ian right. is fearless like, too. Right. Ian is, right. is very much fearless and let's yeah. be very clear. He's not old. Because yeah. he's a white man, he gets into the rooms that maybe Joe can't by himself. Mm -hmm. So I, I mean, and, and I don't think that's talked enough. Like I understand like we're, we're wanting to build these empires and be black enterprises. I'm sure Jay got a couple Jews on on speed dial and so does, you know, I, I don't want to say Diddy because he done lost quite a lot lately. But there's a lot of like are the most powerful, mm -hmm. prominent black men still have to lean on the you know someone white yeah, uh, by their side, whether it's their lawyer, whether it's their manager, for sure. And baby Ian is him. Ian is definitely. She said Jay got a couple Jews on speed dial. <laughs> no, That's no, a no. bar. <laughs> Shout to Jack. Shout to Jack. I don't know if he's Jack. I don't even know. I don't know. But shout to Jack. I see him at home. Jack is crazy. Shout to Jack. That's my son. Oh, man. But not yet. Shout out to Ian, man. Shout out to that whole operation. They doing something great over there. 